Hi there, this is Kavin once again and here I welcome you all to the new troubleshooting episode of Hackanons and guys in this video I will show you one of the best settings that you can do for optimizing your C drive storage and move lot of your stuff to D drive and do lot of installation settings in this video. So guys you can see here I am having my PC in which I am having 128GB of SSD and I am having 1TB of SSHD. But you can see it's only 10 GB free over here and I will show you one of the best settings you using which I will be able to free around 15 GB of data for this and in just a clean shot. So I will show you around 4 to 5 settings in this video only. So the thing is you should not skip this video. The reason is because things are a bit critical for doing the settings. So let's see how we can do it. So guys you can see over here I am having 10 GB of storage is just free in 128 GB and guys still now I have only applied two settings and after applying the two seconds I am able to uh, free my free around 5 GB of data and I will show you more in this video how we can do it I will show you all the settings. So guys the settings that we can do for optimizing the storage the one normal one that everybody know is like while installing your software you should install it in different drives you can see here is 128 GB SSD and there is external D drive so over here you can see I have created this program files where lot of softwares are there but this thing doesn't have the reason is lot of data is in different places the program data is there in C drive if you go over here there is a lot of data of other software which can't be cleaned up there is no way to do it so this trick is fine you should do it like uh, if your storage is not free then what you should do to check all the bulky software which are installed in C drive try to move them to other drives this is the wave one the first thing that you should do once this thing is done the next thing you should do is go to these settings like first is the downloads go change the default directory of these downloads go to this downloads click on properties and then go to the location now change its location you can see if I click on this uh, so default location is this the but what you need to do click on move and now go to the D drive first create a folder over there like this folder and that's it when you click on apply it is going to apply and it is going to move all your data like I was showing and it is going to move copy all the data and that and get you don't have to do for only for downloads you have to do the same for your documents go to properties and location same thing you need to do and same for music picture videos and one of the important I usually make a lot bulky desktop so you should move all your try to add shortcuts to your desktop for other drives and as well click on properties go to location and also change the location of the desktop so you can see over the default is this now click on move go to the drive as i go to d drive over here i have already created the desktop while i was testing a lot of things and and select folder and apply and move so it is going to move all your data but the things is going to clean up a lot so these are the two settings that I think you will be able to get to know in every view. Like first is obviously everybody know. Second is this changing the settings. So once I applied these two settings, what I got to know, I freed 5 GB of data. Now what we are going to do, we are going to do apply the default settings for installing a new content and lot of things. Now go to these settings, click on the settings and click on the system. And once you click on the system, click on storage. So using this you will be able to analyze what are the things which are uh, utilizing your storage but we don't have to worry about this don't give a shit to this thing. Now what you need to do click on this where new content is going to save. Once you click on this now change this change the drive whichever you want. I'll change it for all because I'm having only 128 GB of storage. Uh, so I'll change it all and apply apply apply. Here go here we go. Yeah so this is now I have shown you three ways like wave one is the normal uh, uninstall all your softwares try to move all your bulky software to D drive change the location of this default desktop documents download pictures anything which you think I think even if you move de desktop d downloads and documents and guys don't uh, don't ignore this documents because this documents includes lot of lot of the data of the different different softwares mainly which are installed in your system. So I will suggest you to move it. I will suggest to move all because it is no, not an issue. It is not going to uh, cause an issue with the system performance. Now we need to go to the next thing. 
now what you need to do click on this disk cleanup as you click on this disk cleanup click on select the drive obviously we need to clean the uh, c drive only click on ok now over here click on this uh, shield thing like a uh, clean up system files now again click over here now as soon as you click let's see so now you can see over here i'm having 4 gb of update cleanup which are over there the lot of logs which are just over here so yeah i think so you can see if i remove this i will be able to free 5 gb more of the data so if i click ok now it is going to clean all that stuff also so click ok now it is going to click like it is going to permanently release those stuff i don't want to clean now because i'm gonna update my system that's why i'm not going to clean uh, click and i'll delete these things there is not i show so now it is going to clean my window so now once this thing is done next thing that you can do is click uh, press window r over here now once like as you press window r you will be able to and type percent temp percent so it is going to clean lot of a lot of uh, temporary files in your system Control a press shift plus delete as soon as you um, press so there are some files which are not going to delete because those are the software which are currently running skip them and yeah, do this for and yeah that's it so once this is going to done guys i hope you will be able to free at least you can uh, like you can see this cleanup is going and i haven't still i haven't uh, removed lot of data so it is going to free up now previously it was 14.1 now i have removed one 900 mb more so this is the best settings that you can do and i will suggest you if you are having a new system then 128 gb of storage is more than enough for storing windows os rest you can easily partition using these settings so i think that's it for this video i hope you got the answer like you can use 128 gb of storage and if you don't apply these settings i'm sure 250 GB of storage won't be more enough for you. The reason is lot of settings that you need to do, a lot of data is there. But this moving documents, downloads, desktop, and making the default, changing the default settings for new, uh, new upcoming software, cleaning the disk for updates is going to be more than enough for freeing up of now, uh, like using only 128 GB of storage. And and if you and if nothing is going to work for you, then best thing is. You can have a separate SSD, buy a new SSD and do that thing. But that is going to cost a penny. But better you can do these things. This is much better. Yeah, guys. So I think that's it for this video. I hope you got to know all these steps which are written over here. And let me know if I have forgot any. I will mention the same in the description. So yeah, that's it. Bye-bye and have a nice day.